As indicated in the Neural Tools Quick Start videos, Neural Tools provides the option to train, test, and predict from the Train button on the Neural Tools ribbon. You can see this in the following dialog box. I can test and I can predict as well as train. Therefore, you might question why there are separate test and predict buttons on the Neural Tools ribbon. This question is answered in the current video. When you train a neural net with neural tools, the net definition is stored in the file with the training data. This definition includes the network structure, the weights on the links of the network, and any nonlinear transformations used. Later on, this train net can be used to test or predict new data. If the values of the dependent variable are known, the test button is relevant. If the values of the dependent variable are unknown, the predict button is relevant. The new data can be in the same file as the training data or in a different file. If they are in a different file, the train net, that is the definition, can be copied to the new file for testing or predicting. Alternatively, the train net can be copied to a special NTF file, and this NTF file can be used to test or predict new data. For more information about this, you can view the Utilities and Application Settings video in this guided tour series. To illustrate the possibilities, a generalized regression net has already been trained to predict age for the data you see here. Note that the rings variable has not been used for prediction. The data are in the file abalone age training that you see here. If you choose Neural Net Manager from the Utilities dropdown, you see the train net. If you click Copy, you can save this net to a workbook or an MTF file. I will do the latter. Now the net has been saved and the original abalone age training file no longer needs to be open. To test new data with this train net, you need a second data set configured like the training data. For this illustration, the following data are in a file called abalone age testing, which I will now open. Note that the age values are known. To test this data set with the train net, you click the test button on the Neural Tools ribbon. In the resulting dialog box, you locate the train net. In this case, I will browse for the NTF file already saved. When you click Next, you see the following dialog box where you click Test. The results you see here are the same as usual. Results are also shown on the worksheet with the test data. You can use the train net for prediction in a similar way. As an example, the following data are in a file called Abalone Age Predicting, which I will now open. Note that the value of the unused ring variable and the dependent age variable are missing. To predict age for these data with the train net, you click the Predict button on the Neural Tools ribbon and you again locate the train net in the NTF file. When you click Next, you see the following dialog box, where you can click Predict. This immediately results in the predictions you see here. This is analogous to plugging values into a regression equation. The only difference is that the, quote, equation is much more complex.